Can they see my shirt? Actually, they can. It's mine they can't see. <clears throat> Yours will come into play. I don't know what I, but, that's I mean, later season. All they can see is the clown. They don't know what it says. <laughs> they just think that's a picture of Rue McClanahan. Oh. Sorry. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you for being a friend. Boom, boom, boom. Travel down the road and back again. Boom, 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 boom. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Boom, 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 boom. And if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew. You would see the biggest gift would be from me And the card attached would say Thank you for being a friend Hey, welcome to So Awkward. I'm Jester. And I'm Don. And we have more Golden Girls. I don't because I say go, golden and I do this. <laughs> like, what is this? When did this start? Season 1, episode 13. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a good one. A little romance. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can get through this review without using the M word. Yeah, seriously, don't use the M word. This has to be <clears throat> one of the most popular and, and famous episodes so in TV good. history. <laughs> the one where Rose dates the little person. Yes. <laughs> this has the absolute best, in my opinion, best moment in Golden Girls history, maybe. But it's definitely the, the best joke ever that's one word. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Of course I do. Because <laughs> they meet the, the little person, and that's they're, well. they're so flustered, and they keep saying the wrong thing, and then Blanche goes to get the hors d'oeuvres, and she just comes out, and she goes, shrimp? And then she just turns and like, walks right back. <laughs> Makes me every time. It works every time. Shrimp? <laughs> well, she's particularly f flustered because she invited Rose's boyfriend over without Rose's consent. So, when he comes to the door, Rose isn't in the room, she doesn't answer the door, Dorothy does, and then Blanche comes in and she thinks that Rose is playing a trick on them because Blanche invited him over without Rose's permission. Well, one of them, was it Blanche who opens the door and then she just slams it, she's like, oh, it's one of the little boys from next door. Or something like that. Like she thinks oh, it's yeah, a little kid from next door. I mean, the ju this episode is so funny. It's so funny. It's funny on two levels. Number one, it's kind of, it's maybe mean against little people. Like there's there's some jokes at little people's expense. But it's also mean against people who are uncomfortable around little people. Right. Like the butt of most of the jokes are Dorothy and Blanche being so uncomfortable. But then he turns out to be a, like, really uh, smart and charming, and he wins them over. Right. And then Rose thinks that he is going to propose to her. Right. After three weeks. Well, they're old. You gotta, you know... And you're only... The, the suitors know they're only in one episode, so they gotta make it count. Okay. So what, then she has to decide if she's gonna say yes. This is the plot of 99% of Golden yeah. Girls. is. I think he's going to propose to me. Will do I want to say yes? Like that's every episode. That's every episode. Every other episode. <laughs> I don't remember if she's gonna say yes or not, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because he ends up dumping her because she's not Jewish. Exactly. <laughs> but that's great. He needs a nice Jewish girl. Right. This is a great episode. Yeah. And then, because when they first meet, there's the scene where Dorothy and Blanche are saying everything wrong. And they're just making him really uncomfortable and making asses on themselves. And then they have the dinner. And then Sophia comes in. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where she had been. And everybody's she was going like, to visit Phil. Everybody's like, oh, like, what's she going to say? And then she's super nice to him. Yeah. She said, I don't want, she, what did she say? Like, I don't want this to sound rude, yeah. but. And everybody's like, and she, <laughs> she goes, 
I had, I had a really long flight, so I'm just going to go to bed now. But nice to meet you. She, Dorothy, can I see you for a minute? I don't remember what she says. Some she joke. says, is that guy a midget? Yeah. <laughs> she uses the M word. Oh, and then there's the dream sequence. <clears throat> right. Where, where she's agonizing over this, like, where is the relationship going? Can she you know, spend her life with this guy? And she uh, it has a visit from her father, who's dead. Mm -hmm. But in her dream, her father is a little person. Yeah. Played by actor Billy Barty. He's the most, he's a very famous, beloved character actor who happens to be a little person. He's very old by this point. He's had a, you know, he's, he, I mean, he's, he's dead now, but he, he started acting, he, for all I know, he was in The Wizard of Oz as, like, a little kid. I think he was, he's been in everything, but he's, like, in, like, overalls, mm -hmm. and he doesn't play it as a Minnesotan <laughs> either. No, but I mean, at least, at least, I guess, you think he's a farmer, right? Yeah, I mean, he played it like Billy Barney. Every, everybody loved this episode. What is funny, because as, because I mm -hmm. always remember this episode, everybody remembers this episode, but previous to this... I don't remember which episode it was. Do you? Where Rose talks about a man she used to date, and it was a little person. Oh, what did she say about him? I don't remember what she said. I just remember it's like, because I remembered this episode, which we hadn't got to yet. I remember thinking, wait a minute. Right. So Rose has a history <laughs> of dating little people. But I don't really know how much continuity there is between episodes. You know what I'm saying? At least in the first season. Or ever. No, I think it gets better later Does on. Does it? So I don't know if Rose really dated multiple little people. Like I, I think the, act, the writers probably forgot that. Or what I was thinking when I watched her tell that story is after they watched the episode or they wrote it, they're like, that should be an episode. Like, because that story was super funny. They're like, we should flesh that out and make that an entire episode. That's probably what happened. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's growing up, I you don't think like I was taught the M word. I think feel like that was like in the encyclopedia. People were taught a lot of words. It doesn't mean they're okay. I mean like in school and shit. I do too. I'm not defending it.